And welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Part 42. It has been absolutely forever since I recorded my last part, and I know that, and I apologize. I started college, um, so I had all kinds of glasses and stuff, you know, and then I ended up getting a girlfriend shortly after. I was looking for a job, so I had all these things that were taking my time. Not Plus, when I just turned 18 not long ago, all these extra responsibilities are added on top of me, so I'm just... I just couldn't do it anymore. I just didn't have time. I really didn't. Um, I did promise that I would finish it. I would never go back on my word, so here I am. Um, I did do some other recordings with some of my friends and other LPs, but I did but because it was my, my friends, it was a little bit more important to me. And uh, so I spent the time that I did have recording stuff like that, you know, if I wasn't spending it with my girlfriend already. So... Now that I'm out of school, I just finished my first semester, I'll have a little bit of extra time so I can begin actually playing this game again. And it's going to be good. So hopefully I can just get it all recorded and done before the next semester ends. When it starts, that way it's just ready to go. Okay, so we just got the ice arrows, so we're going to try and get a different item now. So we're going to take off Lake Hylia, which we use here, and we're going to go to the fishing pond. Um. <laughs> okay, so uh, there's a pretty big item you have to get over here. Um, you have to fish up a pretty big fish and you'll get it. It's one of the major items in the game. It's not necessarily required, but um, I'm going to get it for you guys anyway. So, that's what we're going to do. So, just swim your ass over here. God, it feels so good to be doing this again. It really does, guys. Um. Okay. Uh, talk to this guy. Well, do you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? Yeah, let's do it. Oh no, you don't have a rumble pack. Yeah, I don't have a rumble. With a rumble pack, you can feel the vibrations of the fish on your foot. I don't care, that's fine. This time, no rumble for you. Okay, listen up. Walk up to the water's edge and press C to look at a fish. While looking at a fish, you can cast your line with B. Press A to break the line. God, I'm reading kind of retarded. To break the line. When the lure drops into the water, you can wiggle it with the thumbstick. If you're a novice, you can also use B. Reel in your lure with A. Hold down A and R to reel it in faster. <laughs> If you feel a hit, press A, and the use the thumbstick down to set the hook. After that, reel in with A. Do you understand? Yes, I don't need to hear that again. I'm so generous, I'll let you fish for as long as you want. However, you can keep only one fish. The biggest fish ever caught here weighed 7 pounds. Lame. Have you cast? I think you have to catch like a 13. Don't quote me on that. Uh, after you cast, you can change your view with Z. Let's fish! There's actually a... 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 Oh yeah, the Easter egg, you can catch his hat. So I just did it on my first try. Usually it takes me several. Okay, can you have your hat back? <laughs> oh man, okay. I need to catch a 13 pound fish. Now most of them tend to be in the middle of that, uh, the log right here. That's where most of them are. Out of there. See the reel like that, and you kind of wiggle it a little bit. Come on, you can see he's getting kind of attracted to it. He's like, I don't know if I want it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Come on. Aww. Yeah, so usually he's just going to be sitting here for a while. So you can just talk. You can just talk since this is probably not going to happen for a while. Uh, I mean, there's some more on the other side, but they're not really as big. That's the thing. Did I fail? Oh, wait. Oh, maybe I didn't. Come on. Come on, fishy. Come on, come on, grab it. Yeah, go! Okay, don't you dare let go. I don't know how big this is. I hope it's big. No, I just finished off right now. Ugh! Okay. Well, well. It's about 8 pounds. God, that's lame. Nope. I need 
need like I need bigger than that. I need bigger. Is that one good size? I don't know. God, I, I forgot how to like. I know you can. There's a way you can cast on them really far. I just don't remember how. Okay, that that one's probably too small too though. It's kind of hard to tell the size of this fish. You pull them up, I'm like, bam, it's a massive fish, and it's like eight pounds. I'm like, oh, come on. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, fishy. What a fight. Just, 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 just come to the surface. It's okay. Yeah, that's even smaller than the last one. Whoa, whoa, it's about seven pounds. I'm gonna keep it. No. <laughs> Where's that big fatty one? Come on. Come on, come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. Come on, come on, fishy. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh, come on, come on, don't let go. I'm pretty sure that's you. Plenty big. Oh, come on. If he lets go, I'm gonna die. Ah, I guess. Wow, that usually takes me way more tries than that to even get him on the line. Gotta see what he's coming away. He's going away! Come on. Ah, oh, I'm just like holding A. I'm gonna break my thumbstick too, because I don't wanna unset the line. I don't even know, can you unset? Oh god! God, you're so freaking fat! Ah! Come on, fish. Ah, that's not really anything to say, I'm just like, <laughs> getting it done. I'm just like, holding A and holding down right. Come on. Oh, Uh, it looks like he's watching me. Like, can he get it? Can he get it? Can he get it? You seem a little bit stressing his fucking out. Come on, fish. Come on. Come on. I'm doing the dance. Come on, fish gets tired. I'm not letting go. I'm just saying. Say or do, I'm gonna get it done, I'm gonna get it done, I'm gonna get it done. Come on, fishy, you can do it. Come on. I like how it plays the battle music, like I'm in the or Come on, fish. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Oh, come on. You were so close. You get tired already. Alright, finally! Oh my god! It's bigger than me! <laughs> Can't even fit on the screen! Way to break. <laughs> 20 pounds! You wanna keep this one, right? Keep it. Heck yeah. Oh, yes! Uh, 20 pounds is like the biggest one you can get, I think, too. There you go. What do you want? Weigh my fish. Whoa! This fish is huge! It looks like our new record! It weighs at least 20 pounds! Seriously! Okay, here's your prize. Boom! That's how you get the golden scale. Jump on into the water and press A. Now you can dive much deeper than you could before. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, I gotta return this. He's not gonna let me leave without it. Do you want? Uh. I want to quit. Okay, there you go. There's my fishy! The biggest fish ever caught in this pond weighed 20 pounds. The angler caused me because I'm a beast. I'm a goddamn beast. I can't deny it. And now that we have the golden scale, there's actually, uh, we can get a hard piece since it's right over here. I'll just get it right now. Yeah, it allows us to dive much deeper than normal, which, like I said, isn't really required. Uh, 
but it, it is if you want to do 100% of so you know, you can get some parts, because I'm tired of being Slicey, 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 slicey. Rupees. Ah. Oh. There we go. And then we're gonna head to Cockfield Boys. There we're gonna start kind of like a quest line. We're supposed to get a bunch of trading and stuff. Some of the times. So. Because I'm not like almost dead. Okay, so what you do is you just jump in here, and uh, you dive and touch the bottom now. And you couldn't do that before until you had the gold skill. So, touch the bottom, and pop up. And you go talk to the guy here, and he'll be like, Holy crap, you're amazing, and then he's gonna give you a harvest. You may not have noticed, but I've been watching. You touched the bottom just now. Fantastic. I'll give this to you. Bum, bum, da, da, da. So you got a piece of heart. Uh, now you've collected three pieces. Another piece, you'll get a, an extra heart container. Sweet. Alright, so... Now to talk to you about this. Might as well just call it up on the now. Okay. What? Did you run behind the house? Okay, let's just say that's not where I am. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Not down again. Okay. Yeah, through the grass. There we go. Boost in. So we gotta go talk to the we gotta talk to the cuckoo lady. I think. We'll start this quest line. God, actually, I'm gonna be a little rusty because this quest line is long. I don't remember everyone you have to talk to because you have to talk to quite a few people. And then there's one last thing I want to do before we actually go into Ganon's castle because I mean I finished all the touches, so I mean, I'm basically done in that sense. I mean, it's really just the end of the game now. I mean. So, Oh! Oh! Actually, we need to kill this guy. Uh. Yes! Because we're going to need him later. Um, he's a big Poe. He's part of the, the next quest line after this I was just talking about. Well, if I'm going to catch him, I have to get rid of this fucking fairy. Oh, uh, man. I can get another one later. It's not that I really die often anyway. Yes, catching the bow. Did I say bow? I think I did. If I said bow, I'm an idiot. I meant bottle. I did it again. Come on, just stay on your horse. I'm trying to boost too fast. Okay, there we go. God, these things are really annoying. Me. At least I can get started. Jeez. Cockerico Village, here I come. Ah! Get off. Up we go! Yeah, talk to the Kuko lady. Actually, how many gold sculptures do I have? Maybe I, have to, I should talk to the gold sculptor dude again? Oh, I have 50 now! Ah, okay, so we are gonna go talk to him. Because. The first 50 are the most important. So let's do that really fast, actually. Might as well, since we're here. Yeah. I don't remember the last time I talked to him. It was 30 or 40. I'm just going to talk to them all and see what they say. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, because you see all of them are saved now. Is it this one? Okay. I'm so happy everyone's back to normal. I'm so happy everyone's back to normal. Okay. I'm so happy everyone's back to normal. Okay, so I'll talk to those three at least. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. Okay. Oh, I got a heart piece. Oh, awesome. 
my maximum life has been increased because that was the second one I needed. Um, I'm so happy everyone's back to normal. Okay, so I just need to talk to that one guy. And then, after you get all 100, he comes back to normal, and I'm pretty sure all I use is just like completely pointless. So, okay. Well, at least I did that. And now to talk to Miss Bitch over here. Speak. I bred. Oh, okay. I bred a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the pocket cuckoo. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy. Late rises out of bed. Haven't you heard them before? It makes them very happy to cuckoo, especially when it wakes up a heavy, a very heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You, you look like you're good at handling cuckoos. Here, take this egg. After the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while, and I'll check its mood. What do you think? Will you try? Yes! Yes, I will! You have borrowed a pocket egg. So this is the first item of the list, like, just, blah, 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 of the list, like, I don't know, seven-ish? Alright, well, actually, that's probably where I'm going to leave this part off. I will continue on the quest line in the next episode, so I'll see you guys later in part 43, I believe. Bow!